so much of our lives is is dominated by by cycles some of those we create some of those we we intuit so i would mm. suggest like a project has its own personhood like it has its own innate rhythm to it and so cyclical living is how am i paying attention to what those cycles are and how might i be a little bit more in alignment with with that so rather than trying to be somewhere that i'm not or paddling upstream um cyclical living is i guess a, a really deep moving towards reality as it is like accepting that this is where things are and now how do i want to show up given this is is where i am in a in a cycle um so for me it's been i love it because it's a framework it's like a blueprint there's a, there's enough structure to it that the part of me that really loves to know what's going on can relax and be like, okay, right, there, there's a map, there's like clear things happening, great. And then it's also deeply intuitive because it requires me to like really pay attention to my body. It's not a, a sense of, you know, this is the right way to be at any given point, mm. but I can apply this map, it's gonna compass me like, okay, it helps me get a sense of the lay of the land more. And then has given me real permission to be more of me. So I can really lean into like, the summer version of me, like ovulating Vix, when I'm like, I'm superwoman, I can do anything, and I wanna, I'm gonna create this, and I'm gonna do that, and nobody can stop me. And it creates space for uh, my inner critic, and that like, oh my God, I can't believe I've just done that. Like, oh, that, I, what am I gonna do? And all that stuff that comes through. And then there's also space for me to chuck it all in for a while and stop and be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna allow myself to rest. And all of those versions of me get to be here. Uh, and I love that. 